This is a quickie video. <laughs> I decided I needed a snack. And I remembered that I had some tortilla chips. And I remembered I had avocados in a drawer. I also have been harvesting, and you might have seen over, well, they'll either come before this video or after this video, but I got tons and tons of peppers. Like, tons and tons. And I've got tomatoes that are ripening, and more peppers, and I've got more peppers over there, and I've got celery, which isn't on here, but I'm going to add it. I also have harvested lots of radishes and this is what's called a watermelon radish and it's awesome. It tastes like a radish. I've got white radish, regular red radish, um, what else is here? Banana pepper because I wanted a little hotness and these are tomatoes that are going ripe on me so I'm making myself a dip. And all I'm going to do is take all these things that I had and that were in the refrigerator and I've got I always add cream cheese. I was looking to see if I had any salsa open. Oops, excuse me. But I don't have any salsa open, but I've got some lime. So I'm going to put some lime juice in it and um, some of my Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to throw that in the um, Hamilton Beach mixer <laughs> food processor and I'm gonna chop all this stuff up and I'm gonna make myself a little salsa and I've got a ton of green tomatoes still and I'm gonna throw some of the green tomatoes in there see if what kind of flavor it is but this is just I'm throwing together it's not your normal guacamole it's not your normal um, you know using uh, salsa and you know chopping onions and jalapenos and whatever this is a Beverly recipe based on what is in her refrigerator now I've chopped up some onion I may use the that's just a half onion because I really don't want to make that much but it's going to turn out to be a lot of, especially if I use both avocados and I'll only use like a half four ounces of the eight ounces of cream cheese in this because I like it with cream cheese it gives it another flavor a little bit of salt a little bit of uh, lime juice and um, depending on how the tomatoes do I may add a few more but you know the yellow t yellow pear tomatoes that I harvested my little cherry tomatoes some of them really tiny because I had to harvest all my tomatoes because of the cold and so I'm going to come back on after I get it all put into the Hamilton Beach. Okay. okay. I've got everything in here except the cream cheese. I put the juice of a lime in here. Close it up. All right. Let me get away from it. So I got the juice of a lime in there. I have not put the cream cheese in there. I have not added the green onions either. I'm just going to mix this up as it is, see what happens, and then we'll come back to put the cream cheese in. Yeah. Okay, so... This is what it looks like right now. Still some chunks of the avocado is still in there. And this is approximately four ounces, right? Because this is eight ounces. So it's approximately four ounces. So I'm going to put that in here. It's soft because it's been out of the refrigerator for a little bit. 
claws get ready to make this. I love cream cheese. Now you could create your own creation without cream cheese. It's just that I have not been a fan of avocado in my life. And a friend of mine came over and she made regular guacamole, you know, the way you normal do. But she put cream cheese in it. So. Okay. So now I've got this on puree mix. Okay. In between, I stopped the video and I um, scraped down Oops. turned it upside down and anyway um, and I scraped down the sides right and came in and scraped down the sides but this is what it looks like oops too far away or I'm not far enough up Let's do it that way. Okay. Yeah. More peppers. <laughs> anyway, so this is what it looks like. It's choppy. That's why when I, I made the applesauce, if you, whenever you see the applesauce video, I didn't use this to chop up the applesauce and I used the um, Ninja smoothie maker because I knew it would make it smooth and I knew this would be choppy. Open it up my chips. My tortilla chip. I'll put it on there like so. See this gets me in trouble because I could wind up eating a lot of this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Now, I could use another avocado, but I don't need it. I don't need any more cream cheese. I could add a couple tomatoes in there, but it's just, what's in my refrigerator? I got avocados in there that are soft. I needed a snack. And so, this is a quickie video. I'll let you show you how I made myself a good snack for my tortilla chips. It'll make it a good snack. Something different from your regular avocado dip and your, you know, salsa or queso and it's really good just um only thing i'll tell you is salt it after you've made it you don't want to put too much salt in there because when you add the lime it gives it a little saltiness in itself but that's it if you like this video think you want to try it you know <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed a lot of times is people put their stuff on plates, right? So you can, I'm going to put this on the plate so you can see. You can see the tomato, you can see the peppers, can't see the onions, right? And now you can see the consistency of it. Because normally avocado dip is kind of smooth. Anyway, if you liked the video and you want to try this recipe, you know, it's, it's another one of my pull stuff out in the refrigerator. What do you have in there? What do you, that'll give it flavor. Got to use, I had to use up those um, radishes because they were going to start getting soft, you know, over time. And I hadn't, I wasn't going to make a salad tonight, so this will make it really good. Give me a thumbs up. Join. Or subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you for being here. And share this video with somebody you think might enjoy going in their refrigerator, finding some stuff, 
and making their own little dip um, with some of the things that you normally make the dip with. Take care. This is Beverly Falls Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and I will see you in the next video.